everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm bringing you the next installment in my uh, how to make a database site tutorials. So uh, I'm going to do two things today, updating and deleting information. And uh, just to make things a bit more interesting, I've combined the two features into one file. So um, try to keep up, there's going to be some logic going on. Alright, so first thing, we have these two get methods, functions, if you will, uh, which we determine whether we're going to update or delete something. And this will just be added to the end of the URL, as you know. If you don't know, watch my previous tutorial. I explained it there. Uh, next thing we have is the ID variable, which we get through the post method. And um, that just defines the ID of the uh, set of information that we want to either update or delete. And lastly, before we get into uh, logic, is this statement here, which connects to our database. And uh, same thing, also if you don't know what's going on here, watch my previous tutorial. Alright, now here is where our conditional stuff happens. Now, we have an if statement here. If update, the variable update, so if this is filled in, then this will happen. From here to here is what I'm talking about, right here. So right here, we retrieve the information that we want to update uh, through the post method. So that means there's going to be a form in the previous page. And uh, here we have our query. Also, um, yeah, query. And let's go through the syntax of this. So first, we're going to have an update. And then we're going to have the database name, the table. Actually, you don't really need the database, but uh, it doesn't have hurt. A set. And then you're going to list your uh, column names and then the values that you want to insert into those columns. So I'm going to have column 1 here and then uh, the variable data1, which I get up here. All right. And then finally, we have our where statement. And that's conditional. And we're going to set where ID is equal to whatever ID we input. So that's the ID variable that we retrieved up here. Um, then we have our MySQL query performed here, and then if it worked, then we're going to say info updated, and if it didn't work, if something else happened, we're going to say, sorry, unable to update info. And that pretty much does it for updating. Now, next, we're going to have an else if statement, or if if you want, uh, and if the delete is filled out, then this is going to happen. Um, the delete query is a bit simpler. We have a delete query here, also a MySQL query. Now the syntax is you're going to have delete and from videos, or uh, not videos, it's table name in this case. There you go. Um, from the table where ID is equal to whatever ID you put in. And yeah, and if it works, if the delete query worked, info deleted, and um, or something else happened, unable to delete video. Same thing. And if something else entirely happened, wherein uh, you didn't fill out either de the delete or the update, then uh, nothing's going to happen. And um, yeah, as always, my school close. And yeah, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. Uh, you don't have to combine these functions, but they are kind of related, so you know, tie these up your um, directory a bit. I actually don't have it this way on my site since um, I don't know why I don't, but yeah, um, here's a neat way to do it. So thank you for watching. Rate and comment and subscribe. Also, visit th3techies.com. We have all the stuff on here. And um, yeah. Bye.